this psychic taxi. Just kidding. Um, this is the question I ask everybody in the survey. People, this is kind of a story of my true stories. Okay. But I want to know what other signs do in these situations. And I just want to know their answer. How they respond. Okay. This is one. What would you do if a... What should I ask about? A spirit, an angel, or a demon? Which one should I ask you about first? An angel. Okay. What would you do if an angel had this ball of light and it wanted to give it to you? What would you do? I'd probably take it. What would you say? Okay. We'll, we'll get back to that question later. What would you do if a spirit had a box and it was like, take it, take it, take it, take it. Come on, take it, take it. I probably Come wouldn't take, take it. it. Okay. What would you do if a demon says, I can make you powerful? What would you do? That's a hard question. Really? A demon that's dark energy... That might give you headaches and stuff, because they do. They're not of the light, because you're just a human, and you have the light. So, if a good Samaritan of light wants to surround you with light, because there's a demon around, and you have to cast, kind of power. cast away that demon, but here you are, in front of a demon, saying, I can make you powerful. What would you say? I would tell him. I would, I would say no thanks. I said, <laughs> fuck off, I'm already powerful. <laughs> Goodbye. And then he goes, get out, get out. This is so-and-so's house. Get out, get out. Because they were really jealous of the person's house it was. And that was a true story. That's creepy. And what I did with the angel. Oh, well, what I did with the guy was like, take it, take it, take it. He it freaked me out. And guess what? He was connected to demons because there was cords behind him, connected to, like demons, pressuring him to give me something. Probably a curse. Who knows? But like... I said, get the fuck out of my house. Get away from me. Blah, 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 You know, all that. And then, like, the angel with the ball of light just casually just trying to give it to me. And I was with a Libra actually at this moment who had, like, three girl angels here, a guy angel the first time ever seen a guy angel here, here, and then another girl angel, and then Indian spirit. And I've described everything to detail and what they looked like in front of her um, because it was real. And, uh... This guy angel had this ball of light. You know, they all had blonde hair, blue eyes. You know, racist. <laughs> because I never, yeah. And um, I've only seen uh, like two guy angels with brown hair and blue eyes. And one of them was like a kid, and the other one was a regular. But then this blonde angel with blonde hair. The first time I've seen a guy angel, but every time it's always like girls with long curly hair or whatever. Blonde hair, blue eyes, kind of. They look kind of a different species, but they look human. But, like, in, you know, because they have wings and shit. Okay, okay. And then, yeah, but anyways, Demon, he had blue eyes. And uh, they were, you know, kind of pretty because they're, like, almond-shaped and evil. And buck teeth that were cool. But they had rotten and long fingernails that were, like, fungusy and black robe. Like, where did you get that? I don't know. But anyways, yeah, I was like, fuck off, I'm already powerful. So, basically, an angel, I was like, what the fuck is that? What is it? Why? I'm not taking it. So I said no, because once it disappears in you and you're not aware of the anymore and it's in you, no telling what kind of fucking virus that bitch is or what kind of curse that is or what you're stuck with and attached to. Who knows what the hell it is. Um, disguised as light. Okay, because there is fallen angels, apparently. So who the fuck knows, really? So you just fucking screwed your life over and sold yourself to a devil demon angel. Okay, you have no clue. So you're like, I'll take it. What the fuck ever? But I told the angel, I was because the girl, she says, oh, they give me gifts all the time. And it's like, it's like a wrapped gift as a ball of light. And then I was like, well, give it to her and she'll accept it. And the ball of light went into her mouth and lit up her eyes and lit up her higher self spirit. And her higher self was dressed in jewels and riches while she was dressed in rags. And, um, you know what I mean? And that's so weird. So it gave her like these jewels of jade and stuff. That's nice and everything, but I like other colors like amethyst and emeralds and blah, blah, But I don't know, but that's kind of cool. But who the fuck knows? You're dressed like a queen in the spirit. But who knows what's really going to happen to you when they're like, oh, you owe me because I gave you this. You know the, 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 you know the show Already Through the Dark? Mm -hmm. When they do this little bargain about this girl who wanted to be beautiful and wanted all these things, this cool clothes and stuff, and this um, voodoo get bitch, or the spirit guy, girl was covering her face and everything 
and gave her like, oh, you can get anything in my store that you want, but with a price. And the, and the price was her looks and her and, and it gave her boils and stuff, but she had all this pretty stuff sometimes. And then it made the girl with, that was covered up all beautiful because she was taking her soul or whatever. So, you lose, bitch. <laughs> Wrong answer. Say no. Say no. Because you never know what the spirits or anything that looks can be deceiving is. But I still don't know about those angels, if anything. But that's what it was like. And I don't know. I still don't know. And they, the angels do not explain nothing. And I guess they don't have no free will. It just says messages from God or something. Because there was this one angel that told me, she goes, I'm an angel. I, I'm, I'm here to show you, uh, I'm here to, uh, show you your testimony of God and you have good chambers is what it told me. So what do you think good chambers means about me? What does that mean? I don't really know. Maybe like, um, good karma. Well, what's like, good chambers? It could be heart chambers or it could be like spiritual chambers, communication chambers. Right, I'm thinking what like a, what spiritual is a, chambers. What is a fucking chamber? A chamber Chakras is a, or something? Chamber is like, chamber is like, like a, a prison. But well, what or is it could it? be a room. Yeah. How do I have good chambers and what does that mean for me? Thank you. I don't know. What do you have stored up? Wow. Cool. But I don't know. I ask people that because she didn't explain herself. They just don't explain themselves. Anyways, thanks for the survey. You're mad about it.